Hi folks, I'm Hector Garcia, CPA and Advanced QuickBooks Pro Advisor. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to take a receipt and use the phone app for QuickBooks Online to capture the receipt and categorize that receipt into the accounting. One really important thing to keep in mind is this phone app only works on QuickBooks Online. If you're working with QuickBooks Desktop, there's no companion app. There's an app for the Android, an app for the iPhone, and an app for the iPad or larger format tablets. This is gonna be on the iPhone, so it might be slightly different if you don't have an iPhone and you have a different device. Let's go into the app to see what that looks like. I'm gonna click on the plus sign on the Create button, and then I'm gonna click on where it says Receipt Capture. Then it's gonna ask me if I'm on my phone. You'll ask me to authorize the phone to be able to use the camera. So let me do that real quick. Authorize that, go back and that should work. Let's try that again, go to receipt capture. All right, then I'm gonna put my phone over the receipt, let it capture, it will do it by itself, you really don't have to do anything else. I'm gonna go ahead and click on use this photo. And that's it, it takes a couple of seconds, the receipt has been uploaded, so now I can go to QuickBooks Online, from my computer and see the receipt and follow the workflow. One quick thing, the app has an attachments feature, which is not the same thing as the receipt capture feature. If I click on the three lines on the bottom right and then click on all menus and then scroll all the way down and go to attachments, that's gonna be for you to add attachments, which by the way, I could add essentially this receipt as an attachment, but it's a different concept than receipt capture, for example, if I click on add note or attachment and click on the paper clip and take, click on uh, take photo, I can take a picture of it and then click on use photo. And then it basically attaches a picture. So it's not necessarily the same thing as receipt capture. Receipt capture takes you through an expense categorization workflow. In this case, you're just literally just saving the picture in the attachments folder and it doesn't affect your accounting in any way. So now let's go into QuickBooks Online to see what that looks like. I'm in QuickBooks Online now, and first I'm gonna go to the attachments section, just so you can see what attachments looks like, which is not the same thing as receipt capture. People tend to confuse those. So I'm gonna click on the gear menu on the top right, and then I'm gonna go down to where it says attachments is the fourth option under list. Then you're gonna see the image there that is attached. It's not really, um, added to a transaction or created a transaction. At this point, I could simply just uh, download it, delete it, create an expense or an invoice manually from it, but it doesn't really do a categorization workflow or read the contents of the receipt itself. For you to use the receipt capture feature for how it's meant to be used, which is for QuickBooks to read it and then to try to decipher or discern what the heck is going on in the receipt, you actually wanna use the receipt feature which is gonna be under banking. So I'm gonna click on the banking tab on the left-hand side and then go to receipts. Now you will notice in the receipt section, there's one transaction in there. Let me zoom out, make it a little bit easier to read. So there's the receipt right there. So if I hover over it, you get to see the picture of the receipt. Notice that it has a transaction date, 2-19-2020. Let me check the receipt. And that's correct, it actually read it from, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it on the camera, it actually read it from the uh, from the receipt. It also read uh, Office Depot, figure out Office Depot, figure out the total amount, where is it, it's right here. So check out the total amount, let's see, wait until the camera focuses, there's a total amount there. And it categorized it, or at least suggested to categorize as office expenses. So notice the options that I have now. I can click on it and it opens up, it blows up the screen, where you can actually start breaking these things down. So I noticed that it, it, it typed Office Depot in the description, but it didn't select Office Depot in my payee, probably because I don't have, or I do have Office Depot in my vendor list, but somehow it didn't figure that out. So it was still up to me uh, to select Office Depot or create the vendor if it's not already there. Now, it couldn't figure out the source bank account, maybe because it's not set up in, in QuickBooks or maybe you have to do it manually, but long story short, if you actually look at 
this part of the receipt, which is the payment method, I would have to then figure out, okay, how did I pay? So at this point, I would select which account uh, I paid with. So let's say I paid with my Chase, or maybe I paid with my Chase credit card. So maybe it wasn't set up in QuickBooks, and that's why I didn't detect it. But I, in, in my opinion, in my experience with this, you can't really expect QuickBooks to do magic and do it all for you. At, at some point, you're going to have to do a little bit of manual work. However, this is not bad. I mean, it detected the date, it detected the vendor's name, and put it on the description. It detected the total amount. I mean, that's that's pretty good. That should save you a lot of time. So at this point, I'm just going to click on Save and Next. It'll give you a quick summary of what it's going to be. It also tells you, tells you no matches found. Basically, it means that there are no pending transactions in your QuickBooks banking for it to match it with. If uh, it had found $139.09 in the credit card bank feed, it would have suggested to match them together. So I'm just going to click on Create Expense. And it comes off my receipt section. Now, one thing I want to do is I want to click on the search box on the top right. And I want to look at the actual transaction that was created because all the recent transactions show up in that magnifying glass when I click on that search box. So I'm going to click on it to see what it looks like once it's manually entered. And notice that it's entered as if it was it would have been entered manually. But if you scroll down here, you see an attachment there. Now, this is an additional attachment. So now I got the attachment where I took a picture of it by itself and I just threw it in attachments. And this is the actual attachment that I used when I was using the receipt capture feature. So the, the receipt itself is saved to the transaction. So I'm just going to click Save and Close. That's it. I hope that was useful.